Hey guys, Brent here. Today I'm going to be answering a question from Kerry about what camera she should buy. Stick around and watch. Alright, so I've got this question from one of my awesome bootcamp members from Kerry and she's from Victoria in Australia and she was wondering what kind of advice well, she wanted advice from me about what kind of camera to buy. So she says she's into uh, landscape photography. She's got a, a Canon EOS 450D with a kit lens. And she's not quite happy with the image quality. And she's not quite sure if she should upgrade her lens, get a new camera. There's a chance for her to get a, a second-hand Canon 6D or a Canon 80D. She doesn't know where to go. Okay, so this is the advice I give to everyone who wants to get a new camera or upgrade the equipment. All right, it's not about the camera guys, it's about the lens, okay? So here's my proof. See this lens on this camera? This lens I've had for 16 years. Okay, I'm still using it. I've gone through about eight different camera bodies in that time, okay? Most of these lenses I've had for over five years. Well, actually, all of these lens, these other lenses over here I've had for over five years. Um, why? Because if you invest money in a really good quality lens, it should last you a long time. Really, it's not, there's not much electronics in the lens that can wear out. It's mainly glass. Okay, so it's the glass. And, you know, when you're thinking about good images, it's all about the lens you got on your camera. Okay, yes, there is the camera sensor and, you know, whether it can whether it's full frame or whatever, and you know how good the camera operates and how many functions and things it has. But the light has to go through the lens and it's got to be focused by the lens to get into the camera body. Okay, so it's all about the lens. Now, what do you need to think about or how do you choose what lens to get? Well, firstly, you need to decide what camera system you're going to stick with. Okay, so I've decided to stick with a full frame sensor system. So my Canon 5D Mark III, whatever it is now, um, is a full frame sensor camera. So it just means that I've got a very big sensor in there, okay, behind the mirror, all right? But that means that I need really big lenses because big glass needs to focus onto the big sensor. So if you decided to go for like a, um, a bit of a crop sensor camera system like this uh, 60D that I've got, that's got the crop sensor in there. So you can see the, the mirror is a lot smaller in comparison to the mirror on my full frame sensor camera. So have a look at those two. I'll get in a bit closer. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. But there's quite a big difference between the, the two sensors here. So you've got to decide what system I'm going to go for. If you've really got a crop sensor camera and a crop sensor system, then Get crop sensor lenses. So that's the the Canon, uh, I think it's EFS lenses. I used to have one, I just sold it, the wide angle lens. So um, Kerry, for you, I would say stick with the camera you got. You've already got a crop sensor lens. Invest in a better crop sensor lens. So I would say the, the Canon 10 to 22 millimeter F4 EFS, I think it's called. That's the one that I used to have. That's a wide angle because you're shooting landscape, so you want a wide angle lens. That's the one to get. And then maybe you want to upgrade to like a, a, a you know, telephoto lens, like the 70 to 200 or something equivalent to that. So if you've got a um, mirrorless camera, like the, the Fujifilm or a, a Sony or whatever, and you decided to st stick with the whatever the the uh, sensor size is a micro two uh, four thirds or whatever it is then just invest in the most expensive and best lenses you can at the focal length that you enjoy shooting so if it's landscapes you want wide angle if it's portraits you want zoom 50 mil to 200 mil on a full frame sensor camera or equivalent on a on a uh, crop sensor so that's just the you just multiply it by the crop sensor factor, so either it's one, one and a half or 1.6 or two if it's a micro four thirds. Now, I know this can sound a little bit like Greek to someone who's coming in. All you have to do is check what camera system you got, what sensor size you've got, 
and then you get the best lens lenses in the focal range that you like for that system and then just keep investing and get a few lenses and then as the camera bodies wear out you um, you just get a second hand one that's maybe a year or two old the technology and it's about half the price that it was a year before and you get it that uh, and you get that and you invest in that um, so there we go Kerry I hope that helps hope everyone watching this uh, that helps you now yes a couple of my really old cameras this is one of my first ones Mike the Canon 1D you know I mean I've still got it because you can't sell it it's not worth anything and it's like a brick it's heavy as hell um, I think it had a three megapixel sensor, something like that. Or maybe it was four, I don't know. Yeah, another old one, the old 5D that I drowned, I think, <laughs> in Samoa in my underwater housing. And, um, and another old one, my old 20D. Oh, and here's a Sigma lens that I bought for this 20D. And I thought I was going to go cheap on the lens. Not saying that Sigma is not a bad lens. I mean, you get some great lenses from uh, third-party providers like Sigma. However, I dropped this camera off a desk like this onto a floor and the lens broke. Where I've dropped my Canon cameras with Canon lenses onto similar floors and they haven't broken. So, just goes to show, you get what you pay for in the end. Hope this video helps. Um, Thank you, Kerry, for asking the question. Guys, if you want to get into my membership, check the link below. I've got a waiting list uh, for people wanting to get into the membership. I open it from time to time every few months, only for a short amount of time. So if you're on my waiting list, you get notified first so you can get in. Uh, so join up if you want to get into my membership where I personally help photographers become better. That's it guys, I hope this video helped. Uh, please share it with your photo friends. Catch you later, this is Brent.